<laughs> bueno, that should do it. If you don't need anything else, away with you! Month star, day circle star, and then I heard something my ears could not believe. We had actually discovered the legendary treasure of the Pirate King, Cortez! And he kicks us out to here. Well, no wonder he can get across here, then. Wait, why am I not riding Yoshi? This just makes sense. This is quick. Whoa! How was like an earthquake in there? Are you alright? Yo! You beat Cortez? Wow, you're really something! Hey, if you've got time to be impressed by heroics, you've got time to think of a way out of here. Um... All that shaking caused this wall here to crack a bit. I feel a breeze. If we can break down this wall, I think we can escape. I guess that's not much help. What? A breeze? How are we gonna bust that solid rock, though? Somebody ordered a bomb? <laughs> Oh, it worked just like it said. Like I said. Well, me first. Come on, everybody. Let's get out of here. This damp cave air is just not good for my skin. Let's go, Frankie. Wow, Frankie doesn't get any lines during this chapter? Zero. Zero lines! You saved our lives, man! I'll never forget you! But I need to leave now! <laughs> yeah, I get that! <laughs> While we're here, this is actually right near where Wacka shows up, so I might as well nab another Wacka bump. And now let's head back to. Well, probably just the camp. <laughs> I'm a troubling merchant, see? And do I have some real fun product for you, the discriminating fella? Oh, he's going to sell us things. I kind of didn't expect that. I could use a life mushroom, actually. Sure. <laughs> Why not? I didn't know what to do stranded in that cave. But the whole thing was rather exciting. I, I guess? <laughs> I'm just glad my little dame is safe and sound. Yeah, that's good, that's good. There's Flavio. Ah, oh, Mario, welcome back to you, my stalwart captain. So, have you found the treasure? How's our little expedition faring, hmm? Oh, the spirit of Cortez was guarding the treasure. And you beat him, but you left all the treasure there. Ah, what were you thinking? Were you trying to be nice? Oh, well, that's what I like about you, I guess. Could it be? Brother? You... what are you doing here? I, I came looking for you, brother. All the way to this island, I came looking. The ghosts attacked us, and our boat just sank. But I found you now! Huh? Your boat sank too? So you're all stranded here as well? Uh, what was that? What? Hold on, what? Huh? What was that? Ack! What is that? Pardon me, guys! <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Sorry to surprise you, no way. No need for that fake politeness anymore. Good job getting the pizza star. Oh yeah, seriously. Good job getting it for me. Oi now, ain't that good old four eyes? 
Heck yeah, that is Four Eyes. What's he doing over there? Hey, Four Eyes, it's dangerous up there. What's with this lukewarm reception, huh? Dramatic entrance here. Oh, whatever. I'll spin it up for you, idiots. You may have known me as Four Eyes, but I'm actually... <laughs> the Great Lord Drum! Oh man, did I fool you! I was the mastermind of the shadows running this voyage! He hurts to be this good! Yeah, Mario, enough of this! I'm on the schedule here! Hand over the Crystal Star! Because you know what'll happen if you don't! Starboard cannons! Four cannons! Fire! 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 You realize there's nothing to your port of starboard, right? You don't even have cannons there! Hey! Yikes! Four Eyes was a pirate all this time? Madness! Well, what are we all standing around for? Cannons, people! We must flee! Look, for sailors, we're not much good for anything without a ship to sail! Wait! I have it! I'm a genius! We have a ship at hand, and a fine one, I must say! Mario, take me to Cortez! Yes, my brain remembered what you said. You said that Cortez had a ship! If the legend is true, then we could be unstoppable in that cursed ship! Flavia, what are you talking about? There's no way that'll work! This is Cortez the pirate you're talking about here, even if Mario did beat him. Why would he lend you his cap, huh? He'll cream you! Cream you! Hey, I may be a coward and a cat, but I still lead you. I have a duty to protect you. We will be cannon fodder if we sit and wag our tongues. We must at least try Cortez! I want you to hear no complaints. I am your leader and I will negotiate with this Cortez. Now, Mario, take me to this pirate scum this instant. Flavio is actually a great character. Everyone does hate him, and for reasonably good reason. But he gets a lot more flack than he deserves, at least by the cast. He's so good. Both as a bit and as a character, he's just amazing. Let's head back and see Cortez. Ooh! Oh, what? It is you again. Did you forget something? C -c 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 Cortez, I have to speak to you. Could you lend me your ship? What? What would possess me to lend you my ship? And who are you anyway? My name is Flavio. We are in big trouble and we could really use your ship. We must protect our crew from bad pirates that are blasting us to bits. So we just need to borrow your ship for the teensiest little while. What are you talking about? I do not rent this ship for pleasure cruisers! And even if I would lend it to you, this ship is naked magic and it cannot move now. The key to powering this ship is the mystical skull jam. The skull jam? You, you mean this? You! You have the skull jam! Uh, yes, yes I do, so... Alright, what do you say to this proposition then? Take the gem handed down through generations of my family and lend us your ship. I think that is a pretty fair deal, do you not think, Cortez, old friend? Old friend, your ancestors stole that gem from me, you strutting peacock! You must be very brave or very, very foolish to ask such a thing of me. I shall turn you into a piñata and throw a party on the beach. Ooh, wait just a moment. Do not make me have the Mario trance you again. While he fights you, I will throw this stone into the sea where you will never find it. How would that be? Ah, you rattle my bones, Senor Peacock. Buen hmm. al daigwala. Fine, take it. I accept your bargain. Now be very careful with that gem. 
Ha! Second mate, Flavio. I did not make my fortune by failing in negotiation, no. You can talk your way through any deal, I say. Now you take this. Ha! Now my precious black skull will seal the seas again. I was getting quite annoyed by the sound of cannons outside anyway. Now I can really stretch my bones and wreak havoc on the seas, like in the old days. So, Mario, feel free to thank me any time for saving us all, but for now, we sail! Ah, uh, I guess we go outside to sail. Oh, everyone's here. Hey, we're coming too. Let's take them. Come on. All for one, guys. Boy, I ain't letting old Flavio Fancy Pants hog the glory. Come on, Captain Stack. It's been a millennium since I gazed out upon this sea. Come to the open waters. Now he's just firing at an empty cliffside. <laughs> boo, boo, boo! I got ammo to spare. How's that for boom bash or boom? You fire cannons here. Without my permission, you have nerve, mortal. What the? Holy crap, this is a good cutscene. I'm going to sink this ready old ghost ship to the bottom of the ocean! Hear my voice, spirits. Take the ship and show them the meaning of fear! Imagine! I know I've been joking about how often this game just shows off that the GameCube can handle a ton of models on screen. But just imagine seeing this on the GameCube. It would have been incredible in like 2004. You, you would have been amazed. Mario, my captain, it is now your turn again. Get over there and duel that cat. Let's go! Third battle against Lord Crumb. He's got a bunch of doofuses in the way this time. Bo, bo, bo. I'm gonna turn you guys into wee seeds! Wait, that's not right! I'll turn you into seaweed! Bo. Enjoy! Uh, let's start by Getting a normal jump on Lord Crump, why not? And this is the first time we've actually fought Lord Crump, well, with Goombella in the party. Second time we've fought him, but the first time we've been able to tattle him. That's Lord Crump, not this guy again, ugh. Next HP 30, attack 3, defense 0. He just attacks normally, so don't worry much about him. But those excellent. But those x knots all around him are forced to be reckoned with. They're gonna attack us with all kinds of weird moves. I can just feel it. If we take out their leader, though, they won't have the focus to attack. Get crumb! Ow. That's a lot of attack, actually. Let's continue to jump on Crump. 
Ah, and he's gonna switch out his x nox Whoa, you're not gonna get off that easy, losers. Let's see how you like this. x nox Aha, ceiling x nots now. Let's get the tattle on them. They're all the same tattle, I'm pretty sure. That's an x nox platoon. Crumb commands them all. Where'd they come from? Attack 5! Their max HP depends on their condition, but their attack is 5 and defense is 0. They're gonna come at us with coordinated group maneuvers, I'm sure. But they're pretty wimpy, so we should be able to handle it, don't you think? The problem with them is, uh, we're gonna have trouble actually... Oh, shoot, they did that twice. Okay, we're fine, though. Only one damage on Mario is absolutely fine by me. Let's throw an Earth Tremor out. I hope to get the guys on the ceiling, but if I just get... 5 damage on Crump, that's fine. I mean, I could've just jumped on him, but I know he has another phase after this one. And I want to show off! Boom! Those are gone! Uh, I could use an item? Nah, I don't feel like it right now. What are you doing back there? Get back on stage! Oh, ugh. Man, this is no good at all! I thought I almost, was almost dead for a second there! But you haven't finished me off yet, you sea urchins! I'm down, but no way I'm out! Oh, neat. Bingo time. Uh, nope. Okay. Not a super difficult guard, but a very intimidating attack. He just rolls everyone up into a ball. And we have five SP? I thought it was four. Eh, yeah, sure, I'll take it. It's not super useful. But I'll get a dried my Man! I really thought that was 4 SP! Take out these x knots and Crump really won't be much of a danger at all. Ah, you've got more. Okay, fine. I, I can just repeatedly clear them out and then take out a bit of chunk damage on Trump. This is a pretty foolproof plan, actually. <laughs> How many of these guys do you have? I could take out Crump this turn, but I do actually want to show off Sweet Feast. Because if I don't do it now, I'm never going to have a time where I actually want to use it. Because it is a very bad move. Let us use it. Hold to the left to try and hit hearts and flowers. You just kind of machine gun and you hit the hearts and flowers. It's basically bigger sweet tree. The problem with it... Oh, it does have poison mushrooms though. The problem with it is... Uh, well, I mean it's a good healing move, but 
That's only three times better than a sweet treat for five times the cost. Why would you do that? What's the point? Ooh, double star point. Not quite enough for a level up, but very nice. Would have preferred that on Cortez, but I'll take what I can get. Man, this is getting odd. How could I lose again? I hate losing. Now I go to think of another excuse for Grotus. And with that, pow, I'm gone. There he goes, gone. Yay, we did it, Mario. We won't have to worry about that guy for a while. Yahoo, way to go! Coal is on me! We did it! Eat seaweed! <laughs> you blew it again, Lord Crump. You sicken me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously. We thought we thought we had the guy cornered, but Stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance, understand? Would you dead? Then you're dismissed. Hey, you there. What is it, sir? Kill the three shadows to attack Mario again, and tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. I have one crystal star in my hands, and Mario has five. I must take some measures. Tech called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. Tech? Was that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Grotus's room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there is a guard outside their room that permits no entry. But there is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind, Tech, really. Ask me anything. Well then, first leave the room and take the elevator up as you did earlier. Let's, ooh, there it is. Let's go ahead and do that. You will first go in the opposite direction of Sir Grotus' room. Exit the elevator and open, enter the room with the green lamp lit above it. Opposite way of Grotus' room will be this way if you remember. Lots of red lamps and another elevator. Won't open. Drat, this must be the wrong place. Yeah, it's an elevator and not a room. Now I will have you concoct a potion that makes you transparent. You mean a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sir Grotus' room by becoming completely invisible. Wow, okay, how do I make it? You must first set all of the potions on the desk in the concoctinator. 
It is that machine in the back, but even I do not know which potion to set where. There could be memos left by in, in the room by an x not researchers. Please use them as references and set the potions in the machine. Uh, let's see. Do not place the red potion on the far right. Place the blue potion next to the red potion. Place two potions between the green potion and the red potion. That means the green potion must be on the far right, and the red potion must be on the far left. Put a green potion there, that's my right. Put a red potion there. And then the blue potion was meant to be uh, beside the red potion. There's another memo over here. I might as well check it out. Whoops! Place the yellow potion between the blue and green potion. Yeah, that makes sense. One of these little logic puzzles, not a very difficult one, but... A, well, reasonable one. We are placed in the correct order. Then please cue the button on the control panel located on the left side of the room. Let's go ahead and hit that. Um, I don't entirely remember how this works. Please press the button where the beaker stops to dispense each potion. Alright, then we put one there. It has a timer, so I guess if you don't press the button in time, it'll go past and you'll make the wrong potion. There are actually a bunch of different potion effects if you make the potion wrong. I'll probably do some screwing around in the emulator to find a bunch of them. I will heat the mixed potion in the beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after heating after the heating starts to stop the machine. Now, please press the button to begin the heating process. Well, let me just find my stopwatch on my phone. There we go. I messed that part up a lot as a kid, presumably because I didn't have a stopwatch. <laughs> By my calculations, it should be finished, but did it come out correctly, do you think? It should be. Very good. Then please drink it. All of it, if you please. What? Drink this? Is it safe? It smells really funky. Please, you must drink it. That. Uh, uh, there we go. There we go! Got it first try! You have done it. You have successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations! However, I have detected a tactical error. The potion was not designed to make the dress invisible as well. Oh, right, of course. Oh, wait! I should hide my dress so it doesn't get discovered. When you go into Sir Grotus's room, locate the desk with the recorded data and then connect it to the network. I will explain in further detail when you are in Sir Grotus's room. Once you are finished, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal again. Gee, this is kind of a complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now, please go to Sir Grotus's room. Let's 
do that. Okay, that was creepy. Why did the doors open even though there's no one in the air? I'm not function or am I just totally losing it here? Eh, you're probably just losing it. Uh, eh, don't worry too much about that. You didn't run into anything. Uh, there's no problem if you run into them. You'll just feel silly for a bit. Uh, we want to go around back and head through here, confuse the red yucks. This must be Grotus's room. Now where's that disc? And it should be back on the shelf over here. He's got some piranha plant fish, jump fish things. Just floating about. Found it! This must be it! You got a data disk! A disk from Grotus's room. What kind of data is on it? Then please insert that disk into the computer in this room and connect to the network. Alright. Why is it on a disk if he's never put it in his computer? I did it! Yes, I did it! It's working! Is that the Wii downloading screen? It's not quite the same, but it's pretty similar to it. Looks like it's all done. I'd better put the disc back where I got it. Wait, what happens if I try to leave the room with the disc? Please, Princess Peach, return the disc to its original place. Uh, well, that makes sense. That does make a certain amount of sense. There, like I was never here. Don't worry about it too much, Red Yucks. I'll be here later to fight you. It'll be very difficult. That's actually an enemy I've never beaten before. Don't worry about it, Mr. Scientist. You saw nothing. Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. Now I will teach you how to become visible again. It is quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion. You will revert to normal instantaneously. Uh, where is her dress? She didn't actually tell the player where she did it. Oh, she just walks off screen to put it back on. I guess that makes sense. Didn't want to bother making an animation for that. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see here. The green potion, right? What a relief! I was kind of worried that I might never be visible again. There was never any danger of that. Now, please return to the computer room. Let us do that. This will probably just send us right back to tech. Good. Say, by the way, Tech, what was that data? I am still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. But if my prediction is correct... If it's correct, what? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now, please use the communicator if you wish. Okay, you'll tell me when you decipher decipher the data, huh? Good, then I'll use the communicator, thanks. I've written my message. Would you send it? The message has been sent. We are done for now. Please, go back to the room. Okay, take care, Tech. Thank you, Princess Peach. Why, you're welcome, Tech. Princess Peach, I will protect you. Tech is 
so good. Tech is great. I like him. Lord Crump, what's he doing there? Blah! What is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out! The light's on because this is Twilight Town, my lord. One of those stars could be here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal stars. <laughs> Sounds good to me, Haggy! Let's go to it! Hey, uh, you look interesting. What's with you? Oh man, I'm pretty sure Belgium said she lost her super bomb bomb around here somewhere. This stinks, really. This is extremely bad. Bad, bad, bad. I gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here, or else. Bam! Goody, I am the man! Now we can cross Mario and get all the creature stars you want first swoop. Hot diggity dog! <laughs> the look of the moon is riding shotgun with me! You there, suspicious guy. You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? Huh? Somebody there? Hey, what's the odd big idea, turtle boy? You looking for the crystal stars too? Sweet! This will help the crumb come back! Now then, let's get to it! You'll be the one telling me everything you know! Now! Uh, actually, it's gonna be you who's spilling every bit of info of your big ugly head! Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy! Whoa, that big guy! I mean... No, wait, what am I afraid of? You? Bo, bo, bo. If you think you can take me, then try it, troop mix. All troops report! Bo, bo, bo. Yeah, you like that? Can you look a lot of dudes, yeah? You don't feel like talking yet? <laughs> you dare scoff at us? Koopa Clan form up! Whoa, we're played! <laughs> so what's it gonna be, tough guy? Oh, oh, I gotta laugh. What a perfect time to have one of these babies handy. Sorry, suckers. Eat this turtle dot, Super Bob Bomb! Incoming! Huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off! <laughs> this is how you do it, amateur! Watch and learn! Oh, crud. And there they go! Ah, I'm sure they'll be back.